All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what we have is a compound interest problem where it says you deposit, maybe I'll just write that, you deposit $4,000 in an account that pays 2.92% annual interest compounded quarterly. What is your final um, amount after one year? So when doing a compound interest problem, we obviously first need to make sure we know the compound interest formula, which A equals P times one plus R over N times N to the T. Now remember, A is gonna represent our final amount P represents our initial, uh, our principal, which would be like our initial deposit. R represents our rate, our annual rate in, in decimal. N represents the number of times we compound per year. And T represents the number of years. So simply all we're going to do is just now plug in our values that we have. So A, well that's what we're trying to find, solve for. We're trying to find our final value, so that's going to still just remove A. P is our initial, um, pro, um, initial deposit, or our principal, which would be 4,000. times one plus our rate. So now we have 2.92%. To write that in decimal form, I'm going to move it over two decimal places. So I have 0 0.0292 divided by the number of times we're going to compound in a year. And we're going to compound it quarterly. So that means it's going to be compounded four times. Raised to four times after one year. So now, what I like to do when I'm applying a problem like this is I just apply order of operations. So I'm going to do my operations inside my parentheses first. And then inside the parentheses, I need to follow order of operations again. So I'll, therefore, I'm going to be using my division. So I'll take 0 0.0292 divided by 4. That gives me 0 0.0073. Add it to 1. So I get 1.0073, obviously. And then raise that to the fourth power. Then multiply that by 4,000. And I get a final amount after one year of $4,118.09 as I round it. Okay, So that means after one year, if you have it compounded at a 2.92%, uh, you will now have earned $118.09. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you pop compound interest. Thanks.